Okay, today we're going to do a collimation on a Newtonian telescope. This is, happens to be an astrograph ASA. It's a simple parabolic mirror with a, a flat, so it takes a very little light path. What we're going to do today is put in a laser, and we're going to actually align those two optical paths to give us the best collimation of the telescope to produce the best quality images. There are several different lasers to use. So you can get two-inch lasers, one-inch lasers. You can get ones with patterns on them. In this case, we're using it on a, a closed-tube Newtonian. We need to actually see the return path of the light as it comes off the primary. So we're using a Orion LaserMate 2, which actually has a small target in it for a return. So I can see it while I'm actually adjusting the secondary and the primary at the same time. And the first part of the procedure is to adjust the secondary so that you put the target or the laser exactly in the center of the primary mirror. The secondary is held in by three screws. It's a push-pull system, so there's always got to be a give and take. If you're going to tighten one side, you have to loosen the other two. It usually always takes two adjustments to center the laser. So we're going to make some small adjustments here. And to move the laser back to the center mark point in the three-axis movement, Takes you a little while to get kind of used to that. Let me back one out, loosen the other one, tighten the other ones until you actually center the laser right in the middle of the primary target on the primary. And then you want to make sure that you go around and snug all these up. You don't want to over tighten them, just snug them up against each other so that it won't move. Now we have the primary mirror and the laser marked directly onto the primary mirror and we're ready to go to the, the primary and adjust the return path back through the laser. Okay, the ASA has a small fan shroud on the back. You want to remove that. Every scope is a little bit different on how the collimating screws are adjusted on the primary mirror. So, in some cases, some of the Newtonian designs, they'll have spring loads or the actual primary mirror floats. If that's the case on yours, you'll need to actually point the scope upward to make the adjustments because you want the weight of the primary mirror down against the collimating screws or the adjustment screws for that primary mirror. In this case, the primary mirror is hard fixed to the rear cell, so we don't need to do that. We can lay it out on the bench and do it just like this. In this particular situation, they actually have two adjustment screws, small set screws in here, and one main screw. What you do is you loosen the main screw, make adjustments to the secondary set screws until you move the target into position. Once you do, you lock down the primary mirror. So what we're going to do is loosen this primary bolt here, and then we're going to make adjustments to this small set screws here to move the laser toward the target. There, it's moving it up. Try another one over here. And you always find out when collimating, to actually get it to the center point, you can't do it with just one movement. It actually ends up being two movements that ends up moving the laser. If you don't have enough room, you just have to back this out a little bit further. You can see the light starting to move into position. Make some more adjustments here. And when the target disappears into the center, you're fully collimated. Then what you want to do is go back, re-snug up, the original center bolts that puts pressure against those set screws. Make sure, check your, your collimation as you're doing this. Make sure you don't knock anything off. And as you can see in our target, we have an equal aura around the center hole, so we know that the return path is now back where it came from. So this telescope is completely collimated. This particular collimation was on a uh, high-end astrograph ASA. Here at OPT, we can you know, check collimation on any scope before we ship it out to you. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope I was able to help you with collimating your telescope.